Well, good afternoon, everybody. Chuck and Paige here with no time to be sad. I had a plan to go to Mukdahan. Actually, I did go to Mukdahan, but my plan was to make about three or four videos there. I had a list of all the things I wanted to talk about and my friggin' e-bike that I just got the kit for, for two months ago is broken. Anyway, I, that thing, that e-bike is like pedaling a motorcycle when the motor's not working. That thing weighs probably at least 40 kilo. But anyway, I'm at Kua Nui's right now. Let's go inside and drink a Bucky's cup and uh, order some food. Hello. How are you? Oh, menu yunai. Menu menu pai. Menu pai. Oh, today pai. They used to have a big menu right there. You want to sit over here? Okay. Let's sit over here not by the water. So while we're here relaxing for a moment, ordering some food, let me share some of the video that I had of the way of the trip up there. Well, it's a beautiful afternoon. Let's go to Mugdahan. It looks like the wind is blowing the direction of Nakompanoms. <laughs> so let's go against the wind. Let's take the river road. It's a beautiful day. And let's go see what's happening in Mugdahan. When I get there, I want to do tomorrow's video about some things that I've really learned to do without while living in Thailand and some things that I need to have page i'm going to Muknahan. you got plenty of beer so and your fan club sent you some more money in your paypal account mm, thank you yeah thank you okay okay we're out of here i don't know how the sound quality is going to be on this video with the wind and i've got just a like an external microphone with a with like a cattail on it so I don't know about the wind noise anyway let's try it out let's go to get a little bit of cash out of the ATM machine. I don't know what it is about Thai people sometimes and getting money out of the ATM machine. Well, I know what it is a little bit now that you can actually pay some bills online. I mean, on, on the ATM machine. So I think a lot of people, they check their account and then they pay bills or they transfer money to other people. So it, it's, I always wonder, what the hell are they doing? It's like, are they, playing a slot machine or something. Just get the money and go. Anyway, I'll wait for a minute. It's always best to carry some cash around with you when you're in Thailand in case something happens. Well, the machine has no money, so we'll go somewhere else. Busy day today. Every Monday and Thursday they sell clothes here as part of the, the Thai Lao market, which is now just a Thai market. I moved my microphone into my shirt 
I'm afraid it's too much wind noise even with the the uh, wind wind protector on it, but we'll see. I don't know. I didn't want to bring my wireless one because that damn battery runs out pretty quick. It, it's supposed to last for like seven hours, but I think now it only lasts for like two or three. Nothing lasts forever, right? Ice cream. I'm riding my e-bike today. When, if you see me videoing, probably a hundred percent chance I'm on my e-bike because on my road bike it's very difficult to to bring you guys along raining season so I gotta get a I gotta get the bike riding in when I can even though it's sunny right now it could turn in about an hour little temporary bridge here only one lane Okay guys, I'm having a problem with my bicycle. I, I've been on the side of the road now for probably about 30 minutes. Now, this has happened to me before. I keep getting an Air 3 message. It's some kind of Hall Effect sensor. I've watched probably five YouTube videos right now about connections, about all kinds of stuff. It still kind of works a little bit, but I'm just gonna leave it off I'm going to pedal. I still got like another 35 kilometers to go. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is at the moment. It's most likely a connection problem. So when I get to the hotel, I'm going to tear it all apart and see what I could come up with. <laughs> awesome, huh? Still not working. I stopped a few times. Took some things apart. Cleaned some things. I don't know, whatever. This thing was expensive. I, I know there was a warranty. <laughs> it's just difficult in Thailand. Well, it still ain't working. Let me see if I can't get Paige to call the guy who sold it to me to find out about a warranty. Exciting, I know. I'm 
Coming from the police station. Hey, can you see if you can look up the the seller's information on this and see if you can contact the guy and ask him about the warranty on this? You just you just have to. I don't know. Just the guy's a nice guy. Just tell him I have a an error three code, and it works a little bit when I pedal. It just makes some kind of it makes a grinding it's the motor is not really working and it's like a grinding noise in the motor but it's an error three and it, it's happened a few times before but now it won't go away i've checked all the connections i guess when i get i'm almost there i'm gonna take it all apart but maybe you can find out for him if there's a warranty and what i need to do okay I'll be back. Ooh. I really like the e-bike. It's really good when it's extremely hot outside and you want a bike, but there's too many things that could break. <laughs> so anyway, I have, I've had this Code 3 happen to me about three times now, actually, and I knew it was some kind of Hall Effect signal code. And at first I thought it was that little magnetic pickup on the wheel so I would clean it real good and I think by coincidence it would like start working and I thought oh, well it's just dirty I'll have to maintain that because it's picking up dirt between the magnet magnets well this last time today when it failed it just it got to it, what it would do is you throttle it and it would just and just vibrate and uh, no power so anyway, I stopped on the side of the road and tried to check a few things and I was like, okay, well, I'm already halfway to Muktahan. Uh, maybe if I just keep going, it'll, it'll go away because that happened to me once before. I just kept pedaling and it just finally just stopped, but it didn't do it this time. And I, I got into the, a hotel and then I, I want, uh, <laughs> I want peanuts. <laughs> Oh, those are hot. So I was watching videos on how to diagnose it, but my meter was at home, so I was limited. But I come to the conclusion where I was pretty sure it was the Hall Effect sensor in the motor. And uh, nothing I can do, but I checked all the connections. I pulled everything apart. I went to the uh, DIY store and bought some electric contact spray took everything apart sprayed everything no change as soon as you give it the throttle eh, code three error three um, so anyway i was gonna do I was gonna do a video, a couple of them, but one of them I thought would have been pretty good about some of the things that I kind of evolved from Westerner things. Some things that I thought I really needed, and then after living here for five years, I realized that either I don't need it anymore, or I could buy it he here, or I can find the Western stuff online and have it shipped here. So it was just some talking about some of those things but I didn't sleep really well because I kept watching videos and was thinking about what was going on and on my way home I thought well maybe it's something with the throttle uh, there's a Hall effect in the throttle 
I don't want to talk shop the whole video, but I, you know, so I pulled the, the little connector cover off for the throttle and then I went to check the Hall effect and I pulled it out and I went to check the wires and sure enough, out of the heat shrink, one of the wires was loose and it just popped out. So I pulled the heat shrink off, twisted it up and then put it back in there nothing like it didn't do anything so i don't i didn't get the connection good but what i did is when i twisted it i pulled it out of the damn little plastic hall effect and it can't be repaired so i broke the throttle anyway that's not what's wrong with it when i got home i got my voltmeter out and i tested the hall effect sensor inside the hub and it's supposed to switch like from 0.5 volts to zero point and one of them is just froze on 2.2 volts so something's going on either a loose connection or a bad sensor most likely it's a connection problem but here's the thing so on my way home i was like man this, the, the kit cost me like eight thousand baht it's not super cheap but it's not really expensive if you think about it it's like uh just under 300 us dollars so anyway I, I asked Paige while i was gone to contact the seller to find out about the warranty because the warranty is six months so anyway we talked to him via line application a technician called i we sent him a video of my uh, my voltmeter readings and i showed him i broke the throttle i'll pay for that and they i already ordered that but i got a thumb control this time instead of anyway so i was like okay and i was thinking in my mind i said like, well they're just gonna mail me a new one and i'll mail that back in the box but no it's thailand that's not how they do that they you gotta send it to them and they repair it if they can't repair it then they'll replace it but so i noticed the name of the place was ud e-bike so i said ask them if they're in udon and sure enough they're in udon so <laughs> guess where we're going back to we're going back swimming cheers <laughs> I'll tell you about some other plans in just a second. Okay, so today is the beginning of a new month, and they were supposed to, they really was supposed to ease up some of the restrictions because, sorry, I just ate a chili pepper. <laughs> because uh, we haven't had any problems here in our area so they decided to just keep things the same keep the, because if nothing changes then we're just going to leave it the same for another two weeks so school's supposed to start in a couple of weeks so maybe they're waiting they want to make sure the kids get back to school maybe that's what the deal is i'm not sure anyway we have nothing to do we have if it was up to me we'd be in Koh Chang right now or in Phuket but everything's kind of a mess right now because we're like right in transition of being like at a peak of this mess and the flow of the vaccines coming we've got a lot of people that want to take the vaccine and then they change their mind about the vaccine it's all based on whatever they see on TV or Facebook so we're like waiting for everybody to really kind of get their stuff organized so we can continue on with our lives right i know we've all been inconvenienced i know somebody's we're all going through the same stuff chuck just i understand we all i'm just sharing my life on youtube videos so you relax anyway we're headed to <laughs> i'm a little high strung today because uh I've really got nothing to do. I need, I've got a bunch of videos I need to edit, but I just, I haven't been able to really focus on the computer. So uh, not burned out on it, uh, not ready to take a break. I just, I haven't felt like going in the editing program and editing videos. So we're leaving tomorrow to go back to Udon. This place, uh, Paige has got the link to it. We're gonna drop it off to them, he said, Oh, it may take two or three days before they look at it. But if we're waiting there, I, I want her to say, look, we're just going to be in town. Let us know. You know, if they want to spend the money to mail it to us, then fine. But 
We have nothing to do. So instead of me mailing this thing to Udon, we're just going to go back to Udon. Go swim in because the pools are still closed here. And uh, just relax for up two or three or four or whatever. Come back on the weekend. We have nothing going on. So we actually talked about going back to the United States. Have to wait. Not going to happen. Problem problem is getting getting there is a little difficult because of limited flights. Uh, getting back is more. Huh? Getting back is more. More flights coming back? More difficult. The problem is is that like they want to we got to wait until they finalize this deal that they're trying to do in Phuket. Yeah. Because the information right now is kind of strange. So they're, they want you to stay in a certain type of hotel, resort. It's not an ASQ. You don't have to stay there for 14 days, but they want you to book in these specific hotels. And uh, there's just a lot of things that are... Uh, they still want you to have the fit to fly, the COVID insurance and all this stuff. And, and I have insurance here, but I don't think it's gonna work coming back in. And I just don't think a lot of people are gonna wanna come, even though they open up Phuket, which will make it easier on the quarantine process. You're still gonna have a lot of people that don't want to spend the extra money for COVID insurance and don't want to do the fit to fly and do the testing and all that. If they've already had the vaccine, then, you know, they just want to come to Thailand. You know, I think a lot of people don't mind doing the Phuket thing for seven days and then being able to leave. But I don't think they want to do all the extra little fit to fly, buy the COVID insurance, stay in a specific hotel. Uh, anyway, that stuff might change. But we're going to wait and, uh, and see how this plays out. Maybe we'll go this year, maybe not. But I, I have some things i got to take care of back home. And uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> There's something wrong with my glass. <laughs> anyway, that's kind of what's going on right now. I don't know, Paige is on the hunt right now to try to, she goes, when do you want to go? So let's go tomorrow. We have nothing to do. We can sit around and think about going. I'm going to take my wheel off my, with the hub motor and I'm going to bring my controller too, just in case. And uh, hopefully I come back with, hopefully I don't open up the hub and go, everything is fine, <laughs> which is possible. But anyway, yeah, that's what's happening right now. Beautiful day outside, very hot. Shrimp fried rice. Konas. How are you? What what is wrong with your shirt? I don't understand what that says. Ear knit. Success isn't given, it's earned. I, I can but the front of it is kind of strange. I don't know. It's just letters. That I understand. I don't know. <laughs> earn, oh, earn it. Oh, earn it. Earn it. Oh, you gotta, you gotta earn it to read it. Okay. Or maybe that's me looking in the rear view, the rear view mirror at her. Okay, we have lap guy, which is a chicken, mince chicken. That's pretty good right there. <laughs> I guess she's working here now. Hmm? 
And one of my favorites, Yamu Yo. Lap more. Lap more. Lap more. One thing I'm really enjoying about this whole thing is it's super quiet everywhere. Udon's really quiet too. But at least in Udon we can swim and and relax. I don't know, there's just so only thing I can I find myself doing here is exercise, making videos, riding my bicycle. <laughs> and that's it. I'm usually only good for like a couple of weeks, you know. It's only so many Sunday fun days and and eating, you know, it gets it gets repetitious and gets boring. So I'm 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 ready to go, you know. But right now Udon's it's kind of kind of normal, except the restaurants aren't serving beer and the bars are closed, which none of that is important to us. But anyway, they're starting. They're lighting lightening up a little bit on. Uh, Trat province, which is where Khot Tang is, so maybe, hopefully, we'll be able to go. There's no problem going, it's just coming back. I don't want to do quarantine. We don't want to do quarantine, so we can go. We just have to take the test, which I don't really want to do, but uh, you have to do quarantine coming back, and I, I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that, so anyway. Man, this is so good. Hello. Hello. Oh. Like a pork rind. Fried pork. So actually this worked out perfect. Now we have an excuse to go to Udon. I told Mafia <laughs> by Udon eat lao. So, uh, I told her I said my Takayan <laughs> see lao. She says, oh just buy a new one. <laughs> no. We're going to Udon. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed doing that video yesterday, Thailand Basics. I think it's going to be a hit. I don't think, or, I don't know. It's not going to be too many people that watch it, I think. But uh, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy sharing some culture, some language, you know, stuff like that. So we'll just concentrate on some of the... I don't know how long we can keep it going because, you know, I made a video not too long ago called um, Thailand Vloggers Don't Last Forever. It's the truth because you can only talk so much about all things Thailand, you know. But I think this is going to be a helpful video. I had a lot of questions also uh, on the video I did the other day with Jack the pharmacist. And uh, I don't know if I'll have enough time to go see him before we uh, before we leave to Udon. But I did write some of them down. I will tell you one of the most popular ones was high blood pressure medication and uh, lisinopril, which is a popular brand in America. Well, I take lisinopril and. I was taking what, 10 milligram in the US? Yeah. And then I had to switch to five here. Mm -hmm. I switched to five here, it was lisinopril, same brand, but it seemed like it was stronger here. Or maybe I was just more relaxed and I didn't need a heavier dose. I don't know what it was, but I had to switch to a five milligram. But today, I think I'm taking it back to 10, right? No, i yeah, today I'm actually taking 20. So I went from 10 to five. I took five for like three years and now I'm, I'm at 20. So anyway, I don't know. My, uh, my father's never smoked a cigarette, doesn't drink, has been a bodybuilder most of his life. 
has had a heart problem. So they say it's kind of hereditary, and uh, I've got hereditary high blood pressure. I've been taking lisinopril since I was 30 years old. So for over 20 years now, I've been taking lisinopril, and you can get it here in Thailand, no problem. So I always buy, Paige always orders me a six month supply and we just keep it in the refrigerator upstairs. So the center grill can be easily gotten in Thailand. But anyway, I don't think we're gonna be able to get with Jack before we leave to answer some of the other questions. But anyway, keep them coming. Okay, I'm full. Are you full? Yeah, I'm eating now. Eating we almost killed everything. <laughs> Okay, well, tomorrow we're no big hurry, so we'll head out probably just before lunch. I'll try to go by and see Jack before I leave and uh, get him to answer some questions that you guys had for him. But I don't know. We'll go to Udon. I'll drop off my bike motor. We'll check out some restaurants, some new hotels, some shopping. I don't know, I love Udon. I like to promote Udon because I think Udon is a really cool place to be as an expat in Thailand. If you wanna stay long-term in Thailand, I think places like Udon is the place to be, or it'd be a good home base anyway. So I hope you guys come with us. I'm sure it'll be fun. It'll be funner than sitting around here, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll make the best of it anywhere we're at. So anyway, guys, I hope you uh, come with us. We'll see you tomorrow on the next video. Bye.